Here we are again, I've got 5800 hours of speedrunning experience and a lot of stuff that I've learned about the game in that time. NPCs that you brutally knock off their bike can be quite forgiving if you happen to get on their bike at the right time. Unfortunately, when you get off the bike, your new friend will panic and run away. I can't understand why. Oh, what the flying fuck? Under normal circumstances, if you pull a taxi driver out of his vehicle, he will immediately run away. However, if the taxi driver is spooked by another source when he is still close to his vehicle, he will forgive everything that you've done and take you to whatever destination you desire. It is standard practice for NPCs to freak out when you point a gun at them. Taxi drivers on the other hand are completely cool with it. During Predator, you need to get Chop and Franklin in your helicopter at one point. However, Chop specifically doesn't seem very strongly tied to this reality, and so will just fall through the floor with a slight push. Sure, yeah, there's some bikers, the Chinese, Madrezo's people, but whatever. Don't act like you're so popular. He eventually falls far enough that he reappears, so you don't fail the mission just because of this. I'm frankly surprised that this was never patched out, but still to this day you can taxi completely off the map and into the ocean. Taxi drivers seriously get no respect in this game. There is a bug with the monkey business mission marker where when you approach the mission, it will become disrupted and Michael will run away in fear. Michael will continue to run until he leaves your line of sight at which point he despawns. This bug is one of the biggest reasons why we don't speedrun on any of the newer patches. The older patches don't have this. If you leave the area, the mission will respawn and the bug won't occur again, so it is fixable. But of course, in a speedrun, this is a lot of time loss. It's not something we want to deal with. Hey, what's up? If you're curious, yes, the same thing happens with other characters as well. I should note if you arrive via taxi, this bug does not occur. While it does not work outside of missions when you die, inside missions, when you mission fail, if you spam enter, it loads you back into the game faster. Let's go to Best Future, Magellan Ash. What are we waiting for? When people watch my speedruns, often they ask me, why does my version of Franklin have so much money? If you pre-order GTA 5 for PC, Franklin receives $500,000 every single time you start a new game, and there is no way to prevent this. 
For speed running purposes, if you have the pre-order version, you're not allowed to do anything that a person without the pre-order bonus could not do. More importantly, I wish Rockstar allowed us to remove it because it kind of destroys the story. Franklin isn't exactly some guy barely making ends meet in the ghetto when he has half a million dollars in his back pocket. During Mr. Richards, the cutscene that plays when you reach Rocco's place is actually unique, as it is the only cutscene in the game that you can't skip by clicking, instead you have to press enter. I'll be frank with you, I have absolutely no idea why this is the case. On the flight school trials that involve many waypoints, you can miss 5 and still pass. This allows us as speedrunners to miss large portions of the track and still succeed. When you're switching between characters, the game seeks to make you invulnerable so that you won't die during the process. I'm sorry, I showed my thingy, okay? The game is less able to achieve this effect when you're in a vehicle, so sometimes it will simply warp you to a hospital. A few years ago, while tinkering with this effect, I was able to achieve something that I have never been able to achieve again. One, okay, I'm, I'm so happy that this, this is pretty useless. What's he holding? It's weird. What? If you have ever warped a vehicle to a hospital in this way, Please tell me about it, I've always wanted to find a way to make this consistent. You may think that Rockstar never did anything in response to people's complaints about too many loading screens, but this is not true. When you compare the older patches loading screens to the newer patches, the newer patches have over twice the FPS and have more images. Although the game does load a little bit slower. When the cops lose sight of you, if you get into a vehicle that they've never seen you in before, your arrow on the map will turn black. This means that you're far less likely to be detected by the police unless you do something particularly weird. Entering into each of these missions will have you receive some dialogue before the cutscene actually begins. This dialogue is actually skippable if you walk into the mission while holding up your phone. Why this doesn't work on every mission, I have no idea. Let me show you an example on friend request. I was wondering when you'd show up. I was dead. Praise be. I guess you weren't very dead. You need my help. <laughs> you need my help. So that's it for this week. Thank you for the support as always, everyone.